Hello again from the Loop Supplier Store. I wanted to cover a topic that uh, I received a call about today from a customer. And this is something that I haven't really seen addressed a whole lot. And so I wanted to uh, just make a quick video uh, kind of highlighting uh, this feature. So the specific question I received was about these marks right here. And you'll see there is a, a snowflake and a uh, sunshine um, logo, I guess, a sun uh, logo. And those uh, are representative of the ability to transition this off from a cold temperature mode to a warm temperature mode. Uh, echo is indicating around 41 degrees is sort of the optimum uh, point to make that transition. Now, that's not anything to get super stressed out about. Uh, but just the fact that you can change it, and that uh, changes the way that the heat from the engine can enter the area where the carburetor is and allow uh, for the warmer air uh, in the wintertime that's inside you know, the engine to be able to come into that carburetor area and, and uh, sort of preheat that air. So the question was, what does that uh, mean, and how do I make the transition? So it's a little different on each saw. Um, this one would be the 620P, which would also be the Timberwolf. And right where that mark is, uh, right up here, there is a rubber boot here that transitions from the engine cylinder area with the cooling fins over into the carburetor area. And right down here in the base of this is a um, black uh, kind of plastic piece. And I'm just sliding the screwdriver uh, in there and then kind of prying across the top and that slides over which opens that uh, or moves it to the the winter mode now if you wanted to move it back I would just press into the side here and slide it back so pretty straightforward transition and most saws have uh, the ability to make this change so here is a 501p if you have a CS490 this would work very similarly um, so we remove the air filter cover got to remove the air filter and you'll see again here uh, that logo we have the summer where it's closed we're trying to keep the heat that's in the engine over uh, in the engine and not around the carburetor but we can rotate this and flip it around and uh, we will be in the winter mode we should be able to uh, read the word winter there and the word open and you can see the cooling fins there where the heat from the engine will come directly into this area where the carburetor is uh, so that is allowing that that uh, sort of preheating effect uh, on that carburetor and on the air coming into it so this one is a CS310 um, this is another example the uh, CS352 would uh, use the same style so this one's a little different you see when we pull this cover off the whole uh, cylinder head and, and the um, carburetor area are sort of all exposed at once in the air filter area so this one actually is changed inside the cover on the underside so once again we see the the sun logo and the snowflake so you would just slide this plastic uh, divider out. I need like three hands here, but um, and you would move it over into that side, uh, which would then open that channel there for the air to pass through. Um, so this one is a top handle saw, one of the uh, real popular new top handle saws uh, that are on the market. This is the 2511 from Echo, and this one works a little bit differently. Instead of it being up here where the air filter is they have another uh, compartment down near the cylinder head um, <clears throat> where the uh, spark plug boot is and right there we have our little sun i'm going to rotate that i apologize for the lousy uh, visibility but uh, here is that slide and that can be slid over um, right there. Hopefully you can see me doing that. 
and we're just um, opening or closing that and I'm gonna bring this up so we get a little better view so as that slides um, it is giving access for the air to flow or to not flow so uh, hopefully that gives you a uh, kind of an idea of a feature that you may or may not have been aware is on most chainsaws uh, go on a little hunt if you haven't seen it on yours if you have one of these models obviously you know where they are but otherwise go on a hunt for that snowflake and sun symbol and uh, now going into the colder weather make that transition to the cold weather mode and get some heat from the engine to your carburetor area thanks a lot and have a good evening